So we open with Mel shooting this music video that ain't nobody gonna watch. Girl, I I'm tired of this. Candace out here singing, she out here singing, but are we listening? Are we listening? No. I mean, I'll say this, the little ditties I make people like, people listen to. I guess her little song was cute. Drive Back has 161,000 views, okay. All right, you done hired some little farm in China to click because uh, her new song, Benefits, child, that got 5,000 views. But where's heal a heart and where to start? Where's that one? We jammed to that all through the panty. So now Melody apologizing to her friend for Martell saying that she didn't know how to take care of four kids. And the girl's like, you know, I just realized he was going through a tough mental moment. So I let it slide. Mm -hmm. And then mental moments is why he's missing me. Well, those mental moments and his mistress. Meanwhile, across town, Tisha drops by the restaurant and Jalen's there being overworked. Jalen said, well, you know, the whole staff quit. So uh, ain't that much that can go on. Y'all ain't got a cook? How you a restaurant with no cook? Tisha, you are just stupid. Okay, I know you gotta go in the kitchen and cook, but I need you to do your job. Girl, no, you need to do your job and come in here and cook for these people. You want him to do his job so you can either come in and cook or tell him I need you to be a cook and come in and manage, but you ain't helping nothing. There are not enough hours in the day for what you're asking him to do. So Jalen asked her, are we good? Cause I know you got something going on with, with my mama and I don't want to spill it over to me. And Tish is gonna say, I'm upset that he would question my professionalism. Well, you have so little of it. There's a lot of room for questions. However, she is going to get at Kimmy for cussing out Wanda, but that's fine. Cause Wanda was a grown woman who wants to get bucked with another grown woman. Again, she's your mama. You got to respect that. Nobody else do. Now Big Ugly ask him, so how's our performance been? Jalen said, what performance? Y'all ain't been here. I thought I'd get a little help. Y'all just complain. And he said, and when everybody quit your business, did y'all show up and try to help out? No, you didn't come with the apron on. You stayed home and lounged. Marceau saying, I just wanted you to grow. He swam with the sharks, but he wanted somebody to come save him. No, he wanted help because then he could focus on being a manager and your business can run better because that business isn't designed to be run by one person, but you're cheap and you're lazy. Tisha, you see, this is throw a rock and hide your hand. How are you gonna say I apologize for being aggressive with you, but when you don't answer my question straightforwardly or tell me what's going on, then I'm upset. You really just use this as an excuse to complain about who he is who he has been and who he going to stay. So Tisha says she wants to do a Vegas trip with everybody and Marceau says, as long as your mommy ain't coming, I'm cool. Maurice, are you bored? Do you need something to do? You gonna go over and pester this man about the vaping story again. One, it was his wife that was telling the stuff. So go on and have Kimmy address it. And two, y'all already addressed it. The heifer cried. They were crocodile tears, but at least she mustered them up. She ain't gonna talk about nobody's kids again, at least not on the show. So he invited him to Vegas after his rehashing and they like, okay, we'll go. I think messy Tiffany on this Vegas trip will be a fabulous addition. So we got Mel dropping by Destinies. Now, when did they put Peyton Williams as her last name? Have they been doing that all season or is that some new shade from production? So Mel pops by Destiny's in this oof, wig. Uh, it's a Mama Joyce wig. It is. It's a Mama Joyce running to Target wig. Maybe Walmart. When Dixie. However, they talking about this trip and Melody says, it's Martell's week with the kids, but he ain't never got no sitter, so he might not be there. But uh, if he shows up, I don't want to do no group activities with him. Destiny said, okay, bet. That means I ain't got to do no group activities with that heifer, Tiffany. Why don't you like Tiffany? Because she's a shady little twerp. She could throw a rock hide her hand like Tisha. So Destiny can't go until the next day. So Melody said, okay, good. I'm gonna go with you. I'm gonna wait a day with you. Cause if I got to look at Martell, I'm gonna need you. Oh God, I wouldn't want to look at him. All right, we getting on the party bus. It's time to turn up. So now we got to get on the stripper pole. And yep, Martell getting on the bus. He said, kids. <laughs> I need camera time. 
These heifers is dry on the pole. I see why the marriages are struggling. No rhythm. Martel got an alter ego Marcus who might come out in Vegas because he's single and ready to mingle. But then again, you were ready to mingle in your marriage. So does it really matter? You, you're Marcus now and Marcus all the time. You probably say you're Marcus because you think Martel sounds country. Okay, let's peep this little rental. Okay, um, it's cute. I don't know why they got eight different dining room tables, but it's cute. I like the big blue door. Oh, the waterfall is cute. But now it's time for the room pick. I got the same bed spread. So now we got Maurice bringing up the threesome that he's been pestering Kimmy for and talk turns to Chitete and open merges. Marceau said if Tisha finds some twat, it's all right with him. In Vegas, that is. Marceau said, well, for me, cheating's when somebody doesn't know. So because Melody knew, you didn't consider it Chitete. Okay, okay. So then Tisha says, well, Destiny thought she would be the one invited to your threesome since Kimmy always rubbing on her legs. Kimmy's like, um, just because I think women is cute don't mean I want a Destiny. The heifer wanted to boink my son and now she's trying to lick my cooch. Mm-mm. Just because somebody bump up against you don't mean they in love. Tisha says, well, with the threesome, it's got to be in the sperm of the moment. You're out drinking and it just happens. Mm-hmm. Been planning this, have we? I can see Tisha eating some coochie to keep her man. Well, her big ugly. So they gonna stay in tonight and just enjoy the pool. That's what I would do. But we see Maurice and Kimmy and he chasing her in the bathroom to help her put her swimsuit on. Meanwhile, Marceau just laying on the bed like a bump on the stump. Tisha, come help me. He's like, I'm not helping you. And he doesn't. You offering him puss on a plate and he's still just laying there. He's sorry. Tiffany hears Marceau's chauvinist jokes and she's like, mm. And that's how you run your house, ain't it? I don't know how she put up with it. I imagine the same way your husband puts up with your messy, conniving ways. So we end up talking about old Marceau and young Maurice. And Martel said, oh yeah, that was back when Maurice was in a fucked up marriage. And then Tiffany with her shade. And then you had to come steal him away, Kimmy. She just trying it with everybody. Kimmy had to say, no, 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 that's a rumor Martel started to get the heat off his extramarital affairs. Kimmy said, why did Tiffany feel the need to bring that up? And where did she get it from? Cause you're new heifer. You didn't know uh, the ex-wife. You knew not, you didn't know us then. Well, she probably got it from the show or production with Carlos King's messy butt. He is the technical definition of undouched. So we out at the pool and Tiffany says, oh, hey, non-side chick. And it's like, girl, why do you keep bringing it up? Then everybody said, well, you know she got it from Martel. He's at a place in his life where he's just being evil to everybody. Kimmy said, it's not as funny anymore. And Marceau said, it's kind of funny. And Kimmy said, as funny as your side, baby. Yeah, you might think it's funny, but Tisha ain't laughing. So Tisha says, you know what? While I have you all here, and since you wanted to bring up my big ugly side, baby, let's talk about how you tried to cuss out my mama. Kimmy said, now look, fuck Wanda. I said it, but I never told her to shut the fuck up. Even if I had, so be it. Maybe she needed to be quiet. And actually, Kimmy, you did say shut the fuck up talking about it, but it was time for her too because she didn't have an example. Kimmy said, well, maybe your family needs to stop watching TV because they always come and asking me about stuff on the show and then I got to fight with them. You could clarify, but you choose not to because you want people to fight your battles. And you want people to browbeat me into being your best friend. And it ain't gonna happen. But now Tish bring up Jalen being short and rude and saying yes ma'am to her. Um, well it is a business discussion so tempers may flare. Maybe you should be asking why he's saying yes ma'am to you. Kimmy said, well I went over the text messages but you was being a smart ass too. Big Ugly gonna say, well, look, I'm a master at sending smart ass messages that don't sound smart. So I game recognize game. Kimmy said, well, there was an attitude on both sides. Marceau gonna say, you think Jalen is never wrong. Uh, she thinks Jalen's wrong all the time. However, it's a to be continued. So I guess I'll see you next week.